This week's agriculture campaign update focuses on He Waka Eke Noa, the agri industry's ham fisted sham of a plan to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The agricultural sector emissions are 50% of New Zealand's total. They're proposing to reduce emissions by as little as 5.5%. And to do that, they rely on unproven, undeveloped techno fixes, which will not get us out of this climate crisis. Here, Waka Ekenoa fails to shift the dial on the industry's greenhouse gas emissions. If the government's serious about tackling the climate crisis and averting the climate emergency, they will bring industrial agriculture and intensive dairying fully into the emissions trading scheme, phase out synthetic nitrogen fertilizer, and halve the dairy herd. Kia ora koutou. One of the major issues with nitrate contamination of drinking water, which comes from too much synthetic nitrogen fertiliser and dairy cow urine, is that there's emerging evidence showing that it potentially affects uh, the foetus in the womb. The story broke this weekend in the Sunday Star Times about a woman in the Waikato who had a low birth weight child. She had been drinking highly nitrate contaminated drinking water, around 14 or 15 milligrams per litre, which is very high. This woman was very concerned that perhaps the high nitrate in her drinking water had impacted her baby. There's evidence out of the United States, a big study in California, 1.4 million women, showing that drinking high nitrate water about 5 milligrams may increase the risk of preterm or underweight births. We need to lower the flow of nitrogen into our uh, ecological system. So that's why we're calling on the government to phase out synthetic nitrogen fertilizer and lower dairy cow stocking rates.